Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Building the City uh, and I have to apologise uh, first of all because I did record an episode where I built this and let me just show you, it's only a 2D uh, kind of structure but um, I was recording it and then I looked back to uh, edit the video and it was the uh, file was kind of corrupt so hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it won't do the same this time but um, I, didn't, I thought I could tear it down, I thought I'd start again but instead um, I decided to go with, I'll just keep it up because I need to do all the other side as well so it'll save me a lot of time but basically all it is is um, I kind of well I wasn't sure what the shop was but uh, it's, I was thinking it's quite a big like shopping centre or like a or some kind of hotel or restaurant or something, something quite big uh, so if you have any ideas just uh, let me know in the description and let me just go through it as well it's a very like basic design on the back because it just goes with uh, different layers like this because it's literally just that obviously with very small windows and I just wanted something to be on the uh, corner so it's kind of like a fair corner shop but uh, also I've added these beacons as well so I can find my way back to the main bit of the city so if you see these just ignore them and then here I just planned out where I'm going to be building the next part of the street so just ignore that it's just like a little tester building um, so it's very simple if you did want to start copying little designs which are very easy uh, there you are but let's get straight into this really because I uh, don't want to waste too much more time explaining the little bits and bobs that have gone wrong and uh, let's actually make something right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of copy this side throughout this episode so you'll be able to see how I uh, built it so I'll probably be going back and forth to that side so please excuse me uh, if I do so what we're gonna want to do is have it pretty much the same on uh, this side but uh, with the details slightly different so we're gonna need smooth sandstone and normal sandstone let me just uh, turn down something on the laptop there we go um, and so we've got we've got this bit on that side already we want to go smooth sandstone three gap and repeat that for four spaces so got that we're gonna go one two three and obviously one there one two three on there actually we'll go for one two three four on there one two three four on there and i think that's it i think it's it right one two three four one two three four okay that's good and all we want to do is build it up like this and we're going to put smooth sandstone on top because again we're just repeating that uh, design I've used for every one of these is just using the pillars to uh, mark out where the windows will be and we're going to need sandstone and we're going to need moss stone and when I was uh, designing this I quite liked the idea of moss stone because it gives quite uh, an old worn feel uh, worn feel to the uh, building and it's a it's a block I don't use too much so I always enjoy uh, using new styled blocks and where does it go okay this goes directly above so it'll go on this layer and I'm actually gonna get some swiftness as well because that will help us build at a much quicker rate right, there we go and we're gonna want to fill in like this um, I'll, probably, I'll do all of these because we're uh, we don't want to miss out anything there we are and put that one here and uh, I'd just like to say thank you for all the support I've been getting some pretty uh, good comments that people have said they've uh, enjoyed the series so far and they're looking forward to the next episode and it does mean a lot because uh, it uh, encourages me to make more and it uh, makes me enjoy it more as well because I do enjoy making these videos um, I definitely like coming on and making designs and then people actually appreciating them as well so thanks a lot guys now let's see we're missing something so we're gonna want we, we don't need them anymore so we can get rid of that we're gonna want to put this on every sandstone so there 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 right and what do we have there on top of that we have chiseled and then sandstone slabs joining that up and uh, this gives that uh, oops I can't get around this light here this gives that kind of uh, breaking up of the uh, flatness of the uh, front of the build because you want to always try and not build um, 
flat because it does look once you build flat it, it starts to look very unprofessional I'm not saying like mine are a professional build uh, at all because I'm not that great at building but that's just what I found I found the designs don't look as cool and I think I'm doing this right if I remember correctly and if I can see this properly I think that's it and then on top of that I just add the uh, the little uh, canopy so I did that with I think it's cyan and white yep it is and whoopsie daisy oh no we wait how did I do it here did I just go okay we did it like that there we are oops that's wrong okay oh let's I'm just seeing if I can do this really quickly there we are oops no there we go do that and then we'll add in the white ones separately there we go Right, we're going at quite a good rate here, so uh, what do we want to add next, some of these, actually we're going to want to go up, I don't know, how many are we going up here, we're going all the way up here, so we're going quite tall here, and carrying on that uh, pillar kind of effect, oops, there we are, and build this up like so then we're gonna want to add some upside down stairs i think they're on this level or maybe they might be this level yep they're on this level and this is where we're gonna add um fence posts because i think fence posts if you add them at the sides of uh, windows it does look really good i think fence posts are something you should always bear in mind when adding detail to the front of the building if you like think your building looks a bit too plain Stairs and uh, fence posts and half slabs that you always, uh, well, they always tend to work well for me. I think I'm doing this right. I guess we're going to start to want to add in the uh, hardened clay. So uh, it's very simple. If we just add one going up here first, and then this one's playing. And I didn't mean to do that annoying thing. I hate when it does that and it misses the gap. Uh, and actually we can just fill the whole thing in and then uh, punch out the windows when we need to. There we are, this will be a, a lot quicker as well if we do it like this. Now I'm just building up and down. Let's get this boring bit out of, out of the way. So I'm much more interested in doing the details. And uh, if you want to see the interior uh, of this, because I know like last time I did the interior for the first time, I'm not sure, I think you guys enjoyed that, uh, you have to let me know. But if you want to see interior for this, make sure you, uh, well first of all, tell me what you want the building to be. So I'm always open to suggestions because it helps a lot. And uh, second of all, just let me know if you'd want to see interior for this, or if you're more interested in doing on uh, learning about the exterior and watching that. Right, there we go. That is done. We're we're doing this quite well, I think. So what we want to do now is we want to get rid of something to clear our inventory. And we want these sandstone thingies, whatever they're called, slabs. And I've done that wrong. Right, that goes up here to make out little window frames. And the windows will sit in the center of this. There we go. And we're going to want to add these in. And these uh Obviously, uh, you wouldn't build really pillars out of these because it's uh, a detailed block. It's not like an actual detailed block, but if you added it, lots of them, it would kind of look, start to look like a grid because of uh, the design on them. So you always need to think about what blocks blend together because these blend together. You can't really tell where one block ends and the other begins, especially at a distance. I mean, you can close up, uh, but the same works for bricks, stone bricks. Uh, cobblestone, wood, all, all sorts of things. When they're like detailed blocks you can tell where they end and it just looks a bit messy. But yeah, that was a little quick tip. Right, let's just add in this. I think we're going to want to add in, yeah, okay, we're going to want more fence posts and this is changing the design a little. This should be quite easy, there we go. There we are. And one more. And build the pillars up again. I've built this a lot quicker than what uh, I did in the first episode as well because I didn't know what I was doing in the first episode of, of uh, this, which got deleted, I mean. Because I was trying to work out things and I started deleting 
uh, thing so <laughs> you can let me know if you enjoy the kind of quicker more planned out uh, builds as well but oops there we are and uh, also I mean I know I keep saying these things oh you have to let me know this you have to let me know that but uh, I'm just thinking if you want me to build things outside of videos and show you then like do little tours of what I've built just to speed up the progress on the city let me know uh, as well because it always helps uh, if I can build things outside of episode I mean I do like building everything in episode because then you can uh, see and join in the journey of building the city but if, uh, if you want me to build like some other bits and just show you how to build them or like repeat buildings that you've already seen um, just so the city can grow then uh, yeah that'd be quite good but if you want to see everything in video that's absolutely fine with me right now we're going to want to add in some chiseled blocks right how do we add these in okay oh we don't actually need these but uh, oh well I'll just add them in for continuity's sake here we go and we want these and I've got to remember to add in the windows and we'll do something in that corner as well because the corner looks a bit uh, boring at the moment there we go and add these in I shouldn't have got rid of that stairs because I've just seen that we'll need it uh, let's get another one here we are we literally just go like this I think it's like that oops I've done that wrong there we go oh no and then we want this to join it up so it goes in this wavy kind of pattern there we go oh this is starting to look quite good I think and uh I don't really know what I'm doing here I think that will work for the time being yeah we'll add something in that centre I think because it looks a bit plain at the moment uh and oh okay we need buttons then what we're gonna do is add in actually there's gotta be something missing here this looks a bit high up to me I haven't done something wrong oh okay so what you need to do is add in these so the most used word on this show is uh is uh, add in need to add in this need to add in that right there we go and use these ones there we go right now all we need to do is add the windows which are just plain white ones I think and there's none there and how does it go here I suppose it goes there I wouldn't have done it any other way there we go I just need to do this for all of them so sorry if this is a bit boring this bit Oops, I need to get this there we go I quite like using all the different stained glass because before it was always a bit same old but now you can uh, change it up quite a bit but I do find with like if you use black glass um, it just looks like you haven't added any when it comes to it so I always try to use paler glass right oh there we go that was uh, fairly quick I think that's it and then there's just uh, small details on the window so what bits we're going to need for this? We want that and some uh, jungle leaves. And I'm just looking at the corner of the screen as well so I can see what I've got on the windows. We'll need that and a trapdoor. And then we'll need some of this. I think that is it. Right. Put these here. We'll go. We'll do all of these first and add in add in the plants. I always think adding uh, greenery flower pots, uh, hedges like this, all of those kinds of things really adds to uh, the detail and it, it makes things a lot more pleasant to look at or else it will just look like a big square grid and I think for this one it's just plain, there we go, like so and this is supposed to be like shutters on this side, there we go, just flap in all of these uh, oops, oopsie daisy. What do you guys want to see next being built? I, uh, I'm thinking about building like a fire station and uh, just doing all of like, the emergency services and I think that's, that's that done. Let's just add in some, uh, some of this. We don't want it too much because we've got a lot on the other side. Let's just add in a bit of this uh, 
ivy looking stuff. Give it an older feel. Uh, I think I had one just up here, so it looks like it's joined up a bit. There you go. I think that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like the look of that. Oh, that looks cool. It's just probably one of the biggest buildings as well so far. Right, let's get rid of this because I can't see what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, right. Yeah, I think we need, like, some kind of shop sign coming out here. Uh, what do you guys want this to be? I reckon some kind of restaurant. Um, actually, if we just add in... I know, because we've got a load of fences already, so we don't want to overcrowd it. Let's add a uh, a little light like I've done on this side. Like, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think that's okay. There we go. Yeah, we are. Let's see what we're doing for time. Okay, we're good, pretty good for time. So I don't need to rush because I was rushing. I was, I was uh, worried that we'd run over time. We need to add in this as well, I've just noticed. I like adding greenery to this world, so I might add some trees as well in a second. Right, what did I... I can't remember what I had. Let's have a look over here then. Oh, we got these, like, rose bush things. There they are. I still don't know what any of, like... This is called Blue Orchid, okay. I need to remember all the different kinds of flowers. I can never remember. I just wrote... All I remember is it back in the old days, where it was just a red and yellow. Right, yeah, this is looking good. Let's... I'll do a little flyover so you can see... Um, and give me some suggestions on what you think. I'm thinking probably some kind of fancy restaurant with like a hotel above it. Yeah, I'm like I like the sound of it. We'd have some kind of uh, sign coming coming out, a like signpost, I suppose. We could have like a letter coming out because arrow is quite easy to do. All right, let's see what letter we could do. We could do like. L, and then we have something saying for L or or D. I don't know. Let's let's have a look. What can we do? And we want some quartz blocks. Just something so we can uh, see what a sign would look like. Uh, what am I going for here? I don't actually know what I'm doing. Let's do let's do a D because they're like probably the most easiest ones to do. Oops. And. Is that a D? It's a bad D. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Like if we had... Uh, let's, let's do it one more. Going down. And then... Yeah, if we had something like that. Or like a B, actually. B would work quite well. Um, I don't know how to do letters. Yeah, like we could... Like, so to begin with B. Like the, the Ben Gala Hotel. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we could have it as some kind of shop. The the the, the bees knees Chinese. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't know if there's any Chinese food. Let's see what food there is. The bees bakery. The big bee. <laughs> I have no idea. But, um, okay. You can get a little uh, idea of what this is going to be. In fact, let's let's go inside. I love this, like, corner door thing. Uh, this is going to be quite big, I guess. If I just use this to mark out the area, it will be able to see what the floor plan will be like. There we are, I'll do it on this side. And there we go. Yeah, this is this is the biggest floor plan of the building so far. I'm liking the look of it though. So we can have uh, how many? This will be one, two, three floors, and then the bottom floor, of course. Uh, I reckon it'll be nice. Yeah, let me know if you want to see me doing it in video or uh, outside video, the interior. Yeah, look at this street. It's starting to look really nice. Um, I might design a little uh, what are they called? Lamp post. So we, we uh, know what we're doing for the, the rest of the city. Right, uh, well, I'd probably do the one I did in my old city, so... Or, well, the city I'm going to link this up to. 
Oh, we want this very simple. Let's do a basic uh, one here. Something like this. Uh, having it come out like that. And having something really simple like this just looks like quite good uh, street lamps. Not sure whether I'd have it on both sides actually. Let's have a look. What did we go up? There we go. One, two. One, two. I love sea lanterns, it makes things so much easier. There you go. Yeah, something like that for street lamps. Let's add a few in. There we go. Uh, there we are. So we want this uh, to look pretty good at night as well. We'll do it every, we won't do it exactly the same because I can't be bothered to do counting, but we'll do it where we think is necessary. Oops, there we are. Do it every couple of shops. One outside McDonald's. And we can swap this to night and see what it looks like. Right, set to night time. Oh, I'm liking the look of this street. Yeah, this will hopefully soon transform into a few streets and then we can have like a river going through, we can have a embankments and like a dockyard. This is going to be fun guys. But uh, I think I'll end the episode here. This has been pretty cool. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, episode and make sure to let me know uh, on some of my questions in the description. But thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later.